and we will be going after the second chapter of the Evil Within's new DLC, The Assignment. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll be able to finish this chapter in one sitting, probably not. Uh, so potentially it might be segmented into two parts just like the previous one, but I don't think that should be too much of a problem. So I guess let's not waste too much time and get straight back to it. Thanks for coming back if you've been here before. I hope you enjoy yourself. And here we are. Joseph! Joseph! Uh, shit, where did he go? Chapter 2, The Crossing Paths. Well, he'll just have to fend for himself. Gotta keep on track. Find Leslie. Don't need this. Let's get to it. From what I remember, Chapter 2 really had some difficult moments, which was the most intense, should I say. Uh, higher chances to die. The enemies are a bit more relentless, if I do remember correctly. His name was Ruben Victoriano, but now he exists as Rubik inside the Encephalon of Stan. Ruben was brilliant, designing the entirety of the system by himself. But we conflicted over our intentions. And what happened to him? Reuben has been dealt with. The consequences of trusting the wrong people. Ruvik, he knows I'm here. We get to get be introduced to our first monster of the chapter. And anytime a game invites invisible monsters, I kind of don't really like the concept at all. The advantage is too steep, but they do make it easy. Enough for you to pass, but only the light can reveal the monster. Okay. There it is. The nice thing is that at least you'll be able to see it. You are able to see it through walls. It's over on this angle. Here it is. Waiting for it to turn. I believe there should be more where that came from and like I said, very intense monster. Very difficult to deal with. Next one is this way. There it is. You are able to lean on the wall, but you won't be able to actually shine your torch in the direction you want unless you do actually peek out of cover. And that could be a danger when the monster's close. So you could stay by this wall, but I don't really like doing that. Instead, I like taking the safer route and coming to stand here. You get to see a few glimpses of the monster. Through the cracks in the boxes and all the good stuff, but you guarantee that you don't make a mistake and get spotted. At least that's the one good benefit about waiting here instead. I believe there could be or should be one more, but I'm...
maybe not here hmm we get our audio journal first something else is even more harrowing our subjects are dying they come out from a stem abruptly passing with looks of horror in their eyes the ones that do survive are catatonic babbling incoherent messes that we can't properly interview We've done nothing to the process to cause this change. It must be the ever-growing collective consciousness of the STEM system. These patients seem unable to take the strain of exposure. We need more sane subjects, perhaps to cleanse the system. At its current state, the system is unsustainable. Something Mobius will not approve of. This time, only I am to blame for this. Our new prototype and beacon is almost ready. When it is, I will start its conversion to the wireless system. Even if the original STEM experiments go awry, I will show my worth to Mobius with its next generation. Seems as if Jimenez was losing control of the experiments. He didn't understand as to why people were going insane, but to kind of cover up his misdeeds, he wants to just further improve the technology so that Mobius might turn a blind eye to his mistakes, but that better said than done, really. Boxes for the sake of boxes. Just in case. Oh, I don't think there's anything there, so let's head down this way. Oh. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that, I died on the inside. And amazingly en enough, it still scared me even now. But this is when the hard part begins. Get to finally use a gun. And take a few shots at some monsters. I was close, almost died there. We need to get more shots on the monster. He's the one causing this ever. Got him. Or it's, should we say? It's 
expected to at least die once there the first time it was a bit overwhelming the numbers to just come from dark corners it's really difficult to deal with but um, <clears throat> we made it this time and get if Leslie's down here I doubt he'll last long I've got to find him and get to look around the monster da went down this way but I do believe that there should be one ladder somewhere around this location let's just take a few moments to find it but there it is and we're exposed to another treasure it's a number dial system so we have to find the numbers if we check on the pillars should find some numbers so we have 12 to the right 19 to the left and 14 to the right I hope I'll be able to remember so let's make a quick dash 12 19 14 let's go real quick 12 and then let's go 19 backwards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 no 19 is here and then we go 14 forward i believe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 i made a mistake didn't i probably did 12 19 14 let's just go check again me being me miscounted somewhere 12 19 and 14 right left right okay let's try one more time there's 12 if i'm correct then let's go 19 backwards 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. <clears throat> Let's go 14 forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow, really? <laughs> really now? I guess I'm gonna have to count things one at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, oh, wait, what? Ah! Ah! I hate myself. <laughs> I hate myself for miscounting so much. 19. Why do I keep on miscounting going backwards? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, I keep on landing on this dial, but I have no way to accept. Oh well. Twelve, nineteen, fourteen. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Probably those who are watching will know what I'm doing wrong. I have little time to spare, really. Now nope, twelve is here, right? This is ten, eleven, twelve. All right. If this is let's count seven there, then let's go fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'm pressing the wrong button or what? Because they should be just press space bar to accept, but means I'm not on the correct number oh well. find ladder and move on for those who'd like to
get that thing correct. At least you know where it is. I am just not in the rush. And about the others. I told you before. Completely expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. If they get in the way, you know what to do. Okay. Get to save. At least one good thing happening right now. Still can't believe I was messing up with the dial. Guess I just can't count these days. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where exactly we should be going next, but I do believe we should be fixing the circuit in this area, which means potentially lots of dying because these sections become extremely difficult and extremely stacked against you. Sebastian! Kidman! Joseph, wait! Fuse is blown. Okay. Open up our first door. Get our bearings down. Try to figure out where we are. Another puzzle here, but hopefully this is one we'll be able to solve. When you shine your light, the fake pieces disappear. We have three to the left, three on the bottom, two top right. Get another piece. Okay. Assume that's all for their reading. Now I remember where we are. This is going to be a little bit tricky. If I remember correctly. Should be something of interest down here. A fuse connector, I would assume. It's the only reason we're going in these sections. Okay. Now that we've cut off the machines, one thing you have to realize is that these machines were containing these dead corpses and monsters in glass that we walked past. So we best believe we are not safe. OK. 
Okay. Should have a visitor coming in soon. Let's wait for him to leave. Will he not go? Let's try to do this a bit quicker. Okay, we made it out alive. Really stick a situation there. That's an instant one shot, one kill scenario. I uh, believe we go back this way. I do believe so. I think last time I went to the right first. Did I go to the center? Let's go right. Down this way, so let's climb down the ladder and we should be fine. Don't really rem I think I remember the situation. This one I might die because how can I say? The pathing. I'm not so familiar with the pathing of the AI in this particular section that we're supposed to dodge. So not much I can really say about that. Besides the fact that we might have to do some cut editing when I do die. Okay. Ruby closes the door. We turn on our torch. There we go. Just needed to stand a little bit closer, but now the real problem begins. There's a little trinket over there, but I believe I already picked it up. Okay. Over here. This. 
Damn it, I can't run, I can't run, I can't run. I'm dead again. I'm dead again. Yep. Um, the first guy, <laughs> totally forgot about that guy, but oh, that sucks balls, man. Okay, second chance. Okay. <laughs> okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. Now we need to outrun these guys to the door. And we're safe. Hmm. I wonder what happens here. Joseph, you're all right. You too, thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. A way out? We probably don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. Nice. Get another save point. As you can see, the, the gameplay is tying into the main... the main story of the game. You get to see how... or should I say, where exactly they met and when they departed but you also get to see the insanity that is born from the system that the stem system that sometimes these environments that we're seeing and their gory versions are just so far apart it's as if two worlds conceived of two different minds Another puzzle that I failed to solve is in here. You have that and you have to realign. The image. Let's turn this. There we go. We've refocused the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the stem, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. The problem is that this new world is being built inside of Rufik's mind. Not such a stable environment to build the world in, but interesting research nonetheless how to connect minds and grow a world within consciousness of other people.
You're losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. That's an order. What are you doing? Killing Joseph? That's not gonna help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. You're weak, kid. And you're disappointing us. Are you guys all right? We're all right. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. <sighs> it's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He? You take him! You should have followed your orders, kid! Our first boss. <laughs> we need to find a way to lure him in this side. to run. Shit. Find another axe. There it is. Now I need to lure him back this way. Don't run. Just let me get a clean shot. Good time. Why are you making me do this? Damn it, Joseph. You should have just stayed out of the way. Are there sins you are ashamed of? This is when the most difficult part of this chapter begins. Wait a second. This house. No, it can't be. I never actually came here before. Mother would sit in her chair, rocking back and forth, killing time until the next service. She barely spent any time with us. Miss Kidman. Please tell me about your family. Next subject. No. We've prolonged this talk for a while now. 
It's important for our understanding of you. They never gave a shit. Too caught up in that church of theirs. More like a cult. It was like a punishment. Nothing I ever did was good enough for them. They abused you? No. It was more like neglect. That's why when I just left, they didn't care. They never came looking, they just gave up. And you never went back to them? I did. A couple of years later, they were gone. Everyone was gone. It was like the whole town got up and moved. I should have felt something, but I didn't. And how do you feel about it now? The same. They can rot for all I care. It was strange, though. There's a statue in the center of town, an angel with its head in its hands. I used to just stare at it when I was young, thinking it was sad. But now, I felt like even that statue knew how pitiful life was there. What a terrible place. I wondered why she even had children at all. More on Kidman's past. Her hatred for her family and her par uh, her family and her past is quite evident. This spot was rather beautiful in the main part of the game. When it was during the daytime and you're here running after Kidman as Sebastian. Now we need to get the the other light that's flickering off in the distance this way. When I first came here, I felt <laughs> as if we're being Reason watched. Past. Stem must be creating this. You get to see blood here. Is this the dog? Rather brutal er enemy in the main game. I was scared that it would just come out and ravage that's actually a very good um, way to scare someone where you put them in a very tense situation this this area is tense because it's all dark fair and fine but you don't know what's waiting you you're given a goal you're just supposed to light up the statue but then they put the main enemy right in a place in front of you where you can see it and it's making a sound but It's not actually going to attack you, but you believe that maybe if I take too long, the enemy might come out and kill me. And then you're agitated. Quite a good scare tactic indeed. In life, we constantly search for a place we feel safe. A home we can always come back to. We imagine that place in our minds and are drawn to it. You had a home, but now that place is here with us. It seems as if Mobius adopted her after she found that her home had vanished. I guess this is where we'll call it the end of this particular section. Let's get a good save file. And then I will continue the rest of the recording, but as a different segment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. All I can ask is... Have you ever been betrayed by the ones you love?